Methodists find their origin in the teaching of John Wesley and his companions like his brother Charles and his friend George Whitfield, all of who are part of the Church of England. Their teaching, originally just a movement within Anglicanism, split into a separate denomination after John Wesley's death. Most Methodists affirm basic Protestant Christian beliefs, though at the far liberal end of the spectrum there are some who may deny things like the virgin birth of Christ as historical. Today, Methodists are divided on whether the Bible is inerrant. In the US and UK, for example, most Methodists would probably say no. There are, however, more moderate or conservative Methodists who would say yes. On sacraments, baptism and the Lord's Supper are practiced. Most Methodists have infant baptism. Methodists have historically emphasized the need of a person to have a moment of conversion, a salvation experience, in which a person puts faith in Jesus Christ for forgiveness of their sins. Beyond this is also a sanctification experience as well, where a saved person is made perfect in love. More conservative groups are likely to emphasize this more heavily. A person once saved can fall from salvation and be lost, and a person sanctified can fall from that too. Methodists were also historically very involved in the temperance movement against alcohol and supported prohibition in America. Today, many Methodists still will not drink, but in most cases it's no longer their position that drinking alcohol is always unacceptable, and for many it's no longer a big deal. On end times, many Methodists today are amillennial, but there are denominations with premillennialists too, though it's a much smaller minority. Church polity in Methodist churches can be Episcopal with bishops, some denominations are congregational, and often there's a mixed polity called connectional which balances local and external government. For denominations with bishops, often a minister is assigned to a church by the bishop. Methodists are nearly always supportive of women in ministry as pastors. On gay marriage, some Methodists allow it, like the Methodist Church UK, while the majority today do not. Methodists today can vary widely in worship style. In the past, Methodists were often pretty liturgical, with fancy buildings and stained glass, choir robes and clerical garments, and use of organs and hymnals. But today, there's more variety. You can still find the liturgical churches, but there are also contemporary churches that look quite different. The World Methodist Council, which contains many of the world's Methodists, has 40.5 million Methodists. In the USA, about 4.6% of the population identifies as Methodist. One of the well-known Methodists of the past was George Whitfield, who preached revivals in the US during the Second Great Awakening. Many people were converted under his preaching, but to his chagrin, a lot of them didn't become Methodists. They became Baptists. So many, in fact, that he quipped, all my chickens have turned to ducks. So who are these Baptists anyway? Click over to the next video for a quick overview of Baptist churches, or if you want to watch a video with more detail on an American Methodist denomination, click here.